How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be going over just a couple tools by the brand CutterX. You can purchase these tools on Amazon, probably about the cheapest I've been able to find on the market, and they're going to be great for your little DIY projects. So um, right off the bat, this actually did not come assembled. This come in this piece, this piece, and the back piece was separate, and also the little light. That's right, the little light was actually separate on this. I was amazed to see that it had a little light come with this. They really thought that stuff through. Um, it's super cool, adjustable, and you just clamp it onto the handle before you put your handle on. Everything was super simple. This handle screws directly in here. These screws are already set in place. You simply slide the handle in, tighten those three screws down. To assemble the, this piece onto the plate, one, two, three, four screws screw right in these pieces here. Very easy to do. It literally took me about 15 minutes, I guess, to put this thing together. Uh, this little support leg also took a Phillips head and a Phillips head screw right there. Again, maybe about 15 minutes to put the whole thing together. Very easy, and it did not take a genius to do it, I guarantee you, or I never would have been able to figure it out. But anyway, this light right here is adjustable, so it goes up and down. You might say, what's the light for? Well, whenever you put take your, uh, you need to make a cut, what is the worst thing in the world that happens whenever you're using these cutters is these pieces right here cast a shadow on your mark, and it makes the marks really hard to see. You can turn your light on. Shines a light right on your mark, really good. I want you to notice, see how it casts a shadow there? And then look at there, boom. So you can get your light there, shine right there, right where you want it, snap her down. Even the professional grade cutters have started coming out with lights. I definitely, the first time I've seen one come on the handle like that, and I actually kind of like it, just the simplicity of it is freaking awesome uh it's super easy to change the batteries look at that comes with three triple a batteries real easy super easy i love the convenience of this thing right there and it's so easy to adjust and put wherever you want it. it's got a little thumb thumb screw right there you simply loosen it slide it up or down wherever you want it to adjust it to make it comfortable for yourself again i just put this thing together a few minutes ago and i was just like I love the simplicity of it. It's freaking really nice. Another thing about this, it is a 13-inch cutter, and it is super lightweight. A lot of these things, I'm telling you, I've been doing flooring professionally for about 32 years now. Some of these things weigh 35, 40 pounds. Most of them weigh at least 30, if not 40 pounds. Look at there. This is going to be super easy to deal with, super lightweight. The handle right there just makes everything super super easy to deal with also check this out well uh, another thing that comes really awesome with this i'm actually going to turn this light on so you can see real good down here right here between see this white piece right here between this piece of aluminum and the back piece of aluminum is a piece of hard plastic or teflon that's what the blade actually comes down to and makes contact with. So you're not smashing your blade down onto the aluminum. That's going to preserve the life of your blade. I really like that they included that. And not only that, check this out. They included two more to come with it. And it's uh, so simple to change it. Check this out. All right Here's your lock while I'm doing that. You simply slide it over and it lets your handle come up, push it down and slide it back. There you go. But to change out this little plastic thing, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Phillips head screws right there. Unscrew them, put that in between those two pieces and screw it right back together. Very simple to do. To adjust your blade, which it's already good from the get-go from the factory, to adjust your blade if you should need to. Right underneath here, you loosen this screw, loosen that screw. You can take your uh, Allen wrench that it comes with, stick it right in there and turn it, and it's going to adjust this up and down whether you need to a little bit. If 
for whatever reason. I honestly don't know why you would need to, but it gives you the option nonetheless. Very easy. Another thing about this, I did check this out a while ago. This has the angles marked right there in them. And I was a little curious about that because sometimes when you get on these wide planks like this, this side piece right here will get in the way of doing this. So I had to check it out. Right there it is on the 45, and I still got plenty of clearance right there. And I could actually go a little bit wider, probably another two inches wider. This is about a seven or I think it's like a seven inch plank here. So you can get some nice wide planks in this cutter. It's really easy to line up. There it is on a 30 right here on a 22 and a half which is your most common cuts. I like that it has all your common cuts lined up on your table for you. Again, I like this. I've got three different kinds of, uh, three different kinds of vinyl plank here. This is a Cortex, that's what I just cut. This one here, uh, Soft Silence. I don't know exactly what brand that is. We're gonna chop it anyway. And then as a matter of fact, I've actually got, I've actually got some hardwood right here, some Genuine 3 8 hardwood. Uh, I've already made a couple cuts on it, really nice clean cuts off of the cutter with, with the 3 8 hardwood. And as a matter of fact, it has that uh, hardcore um, center to this. So it's actually got hardwood on top and bottom, and then it's got that hardcore to it. And I'll let you see how this cuts through it. This is a really dense floor right here, this hardwood is. And right there, snaps off really nice and clean. If you want to get a good look at that right there, this edge, both of them edges, has been cut with this cutter. Very nice, clean edges on that. And check this out. The awesome thing about that is, if you you know if you're not a professional, you don't you're not doing this all the time. You only need a cutter here and there. Maybe you are a handyman or you take on little odd jobs or what have you like that. This is a hundred bucks, okay? A hundred bucks for this cutter. You can't beat that with a stick, I'm telling you what. Also, they sent this right here, which I was really happy with this because I've wanted one of these for a long time. This is a flooring jack. Sometimes when you're doing hardwood and you get those stubborn boards right by the edge of the wall and you can't hardly pry on the wall or else you're going to damage the sheetrock or something like that you got this bad boy right here now this is really really easy and it's super nice i really like how this works i was thrilled to see this let me uh get this on there again I, this is just exactly how it come out of the box i want to show you exactly how to set this up because it's so easy to do you got a screw right here in the butt of this thing um, a screw and a washer. I'm going to take, set this thing on there, put this screw and washer right back in there. Did you see how, did you see that right there? I mean, you literally just take the screw out, place this adjustable ratchet on there. Check that out. Adjustable ratchet with a nice fat handle on it. Super easy. Love how they've done these things. I'm a professional of over 30 years in the flooring industry, and I'm blown away at the simplicity of these tools and, the, and just the way they put them together like that. So check this out. Another thing right here, okay? So we're working our, uh, we're working our wood up next to the wall. This is going to go against the wall right here. Oh, wrong way, Reuben. See that, how it's pushing that piece back right there? Every little crank on that thing, okay? See this piece pushing back? That's going to close up this gap right here super easy, effortlessly, because you're just ratcheting it right on around there. And also, it comes with a quick release. Oops, look at here. So now it's, see there, real tight. Boom, see that? Take it right out. All you got to do, push down on that, it releases it, free it up. You don't have to crank it in reverse. To get the tension off of it to get it out from where you've got it wedged in there simply pull it in let it out really really well thought out tools there really impressed with these brands and again obviously you're not going to want to leave this handle on there all the time 
pull the screw out, take it right back off, put it back in your box, your toolbox, or what have you. Very awesome tool right there to have. Another thing, this, I've seen these on Amazon before, and I've actually really considered getting one because of these bumpers they have on there. Uh, mega, mega heavy-duty pry bar right here, okay? I use one with the same exact, I can't say exact, the one that I use actually has this piece straight up and down and you hit the side of it i definitely like this at an angle it's a tapping block a pull bar rather boom 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 you lock your piece on right here and it's going to knock that in together like that and it's got a bumper right there so you're not banging and clinging dang metal on metal ring in the ears this is super super convenient i, I like that that's going to be super nice i can't wait to use that on the job and another thing, you can tell they care about the products. I mean, look, you would think he was getting a gold watch or something in this box. That just, even the packaging of these boxes are just super nice. This is a freaking carpet knife or a utility knife, and it comes looking like 24 karat gold necklace or something. They really package their stuff up nicely. I use shark knives and dolphin knives myself for uh, somebody that uses a utility knife quite often for doing these floorings the vinyl plank flooring and such like that look there it comes with a brand new pack of blades also a tin pack so those that use uh, utility knives and such on a regular basis these shark knives and dolphin knives are so much more convenient than a little Stanley knife or something that you're going to get at Home Depot just a traditional box store if you'll notice the fit of that how it just fits in your hand and it's also fatter so you're not having to squeeze as much you use one of these all day long you're not going to be hurting here and in your grip from squeezing so hard because it's got a fatter handle on it it just fits your hand perfect I've been using shark knives and dolphin knives for the past three years or so maybe three and a half years or so myself on a daily basis. That's all I use is shark knives or dolphin knives. I love them. And it comes with a little carrying case. Clip it on your, clip it on your pocket right there if you don't wear a belt. Look. Right there. Super convenient. I always wear a pouch and a belt anyway. So, And they also offer knee pads to come Pretty much everything you need for your flooring project right here you got your jack your pull bar and your cutter and a set of knee pads has a flat face on them right there prevents you from rolling over you might it might sound a little silly tripping on your knees or falling on your knees stumbling on your knees this flat surface right there definitely keeps your balance it is a little awkward if you get some round knee pads sometimes you will tend to roll over if you get on the edge of something you will roll and fall from a kneeled position i've done it <laughs> I'm guilty. It does happen when you're crawling around on the floor all day. These flat surfaces right here definitely help with that. However, I do have a drawback on these right here. You hear that? I would be a little hesitant. I haven't tried them. I would definitely try them out on some vinyl plank or hardwood first before I actually started installing, crawling all over my floor for the sake of scratching. I don't know if I would trust these again. I would have to check them out just to be sure but they do come with buckles instead of velcro everybody is so fond of buckles instead of velcro latching over here on the side simply get them adjusted to fit your legs and snap them on rather than the velcro collects garbage coming loose getting stuck grabbing the carpet when you're crawling on it nobody likes velcro these buttons are a lot better anyway that's about it for the cutter x brand and overall i gotta say i love this i love this and i love this i definitely love this i don't know how big of a fan i am of these that's my honest opinion thank you guys for tuning in to the channel until next time fbsb's out